hello, this is Sidrus. Uh, if you've watched my first episode of, well, what it's, it's not really a let's play because, it, frankly, I just don't know really how to do those. But, uh, anyway, it's the first episode I've actually published. You might have seen in there my garbage disposal, or my, my trash can. It, uh, uses a, a dispenser to shoot the items into uh, just a little lake of lava or a little lava area and I wanted to show you guys the the mechanism that powers it this what you see here is the absolute skeleton of the system this whole thing is what I've got buried in the floor and uh, with the lava right here in front of the in front of the dispenser for the items to shoot into. Uh, it's rather simple, and uh, it uses a um, a pulser that uh, I think it's the fastest pulser I can get to work on uh, server uh, multiplayer server. There's maybe others, but in in the research I did, this was the one that seemed to be the fastest that I could actually get to work on an SMP server. Um, so when you flip it on, it just starts shooting. And I'll show you how to build it. It's rather simple. Uh, it doesn't occupy much space. I think it was a... Uh, it's three by six by two, I think, are the dimensions. And uh, the heart of the system is the, the pulser. And you start by placing a block and put, uh, put redstone torches all around it. And then you put a block on top of each torch. And so this is essentially the pulser. Now there's going to be a bit of redstone that goes in the middle here. And when you do that, you can see that it, it starts to flash, pulsing its signal. And if you watch these torches, they'll burn at, I, I don't know what the rate of, that they're flashing at. I don't know if it's one game tick or one redstone tick. I don't know the details of it that well. But it flashes until the torch burns out, and then one of the other torches in the around the block uh, takes over and continues the pulse. And so all you do then is you can just extend this out and uh, we'll wire up the, the dispenser to this lead here. Every one of these uh, every one of these blocks is hot so you could theoretically run four dispensers off of this one pulser. And so next, all I do is uh, I just want to to bring the signal out a little ways here, uh, and this is going to be the dispenser. That's that's the business end. Now the trick with this is if I connect. I connect that directly up there. It doesn't tick very fast. It's not very reliable. And that's not what I wanted. And I found that if I put if I put a repeater in there, then it, it ticks with much better regularity and it's a lot faster even. And then the wrap it up, I can just put a switch here to stop it. So that switch is powering this block and that block is powering this redstone and since the redstone now has continuous signal it uh, turns off all these torches so the system stops and then if you want to get it going again flip the switch and bam of course you can extend this out as far as you need to go. Just uh, 
of your redstone down to wherever you want it. Drop the switch and off you go. So that's the system. Pretty simple to implement and uh, I'd imagine it can be quite deadly if you get in the way of it. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think and uh, I'll see you guys some other time.